What's going on traders? Today is May the 4th, 2020. This is the pre-market stocks to watch. I am your host, James Mason, and let's talk about the market. So getting into it, let's look at the futures. These are the Dow futures right here. And currently we are minus 192. So we had a decent, decent gap down overnight. But let's see. What I'm looking at right here is <clears throat> how these five minute candles are gonna perform around this 200 EMA. Today, I honestly expect it to be just the whipsaw. If you don't know what a whipsaw is, it's gonna be a very choppy day, which makes it very hard to trade. So with that being said, if we can break above that 200 EMA line, this next resistance is at 23,485. And then above that, it's going to come up to this range at 23,692. In the event that we have a bullish spike coming out the gates, and let's just say it runs all the way up here, I would definitely, well, this ain't advice. Me personally, I'm going to be looking to short overall. The market is bearish, and I'm going to look for those opportunities like that. Now, if it does come out with this bullish run, we could have a gap fill right here, and there's going to be a lot of resistance in this range from 23,570 on up to 23,700, we'll just say. Now, when the market opens and let's just say we don't have that bullish run, that these five minute candles just shoot down, I'll then want to see how these candles perform around this VWAP line. If this breaks through that VWAP line and that middle Bollinger Band line, I'm going to look for a range down to 23,255. And then if it breaks that, I expect it to continue down hardcore all the way to test this low uh, pre market at 23,208. So those are your ranges on the Dow of futures. Now, <clears throat> the tickers that I'm looking at today. Let's see. Definitely not looking at Citigroup. So, get that chart back up. Okay. I am looking at Tyson's Food. So, ticker TSN. And the reason why is looking at the why is it moving catalyst feature. Tyson Food shares are trading lower after the company reported worse than expected Q2 EPS and sales results. It's to be expected. So pulling it up on the charts, we can see they have their earnings. This conference call is about ready to kick off here in 30 minutes. So who knows what will come out, out of that. But what I'm looking for here, <clears throat> based off of those uh, five minute candles on the Dow future, I'm looking for a bullish bounce it coming up to around, we'll just say around $59 to about, let's see, about $60.50. So somewhere in that range, if we do get that bullish bounce here, somewhere in that range, I'll be looking to take a short entry. And that is the only setup I'm looking for right here on ticker TSN. Because I, I expect this, if this doesn't come out with that bullish bounce and starts pushing down, I expect it to bottom out fairly quickly unless if those Dow futures just fall off a cliff or, or whatever. But 
we just looked at that setup on those features. It's looking like a bullish bounce in the moment. And that's what I'm going off of here. So I'm not looking to chase this down out the gates. I want to see that bullish bounce first. And between that range of $59 to uh, 60, let's see, 60 dollars and 50 cents. That's what I'm looking for to start scaling into a short position here. And this is TSN. Now, the other one I'm looking at, ticker JPM. And right now the banks are getting uh, hit hard with the uh, tensions kicking back up between the US and China uh, trade talks. So <clears throat> that's why I am, well, that's one of the reasons why I'm bearish on this. I mean, you can see right here, it alerted on April 30th, bearish swing trade and that thing, well, on the 29th and 30th, thing just, whew, beautiful swing trade. So anyways, <clears throat> Back to back to the charts here. Now, again, keep in mind I am looking for that bullish bounce right here for ticker JPM. At the moment, this is setting up for this bullish bounce. Now my range is here. I'm gonna look for back out a moment. I'm gonna look for this to start getting rejected between. $93.30 on up to $94.15. So between those ranges, that's when I'm gonna start scaling in for a short play. Now, with that being said, if this thing would just fall off a cliff coming out the gates, the range that I will wait for before going short in this is 91.12. So we should open up around 91.60 in that range, but I need to see it get below 91.12. You can look right here on the daily chart. If it breaks that range, we have a nice range down to 88.50. So those are my ranges for ticker JPM, and that is all I have today. So. I appreciate you guys taking time to watch this. Keep those position sizes small. Today's gonna be choppy. It's gonna be hard to trade. So I will see you in the next one.